Hello again. Sunday at noon. You remember I had those lithium ion batteries down here. They are gone. You say why? Because <laughs> it proves that my install it's too small. It's not enough power from the solar panels to feed in the same time the online uh, inverter or a real time inverter let's call it and uh, to charge the batteries i'm only having 1000 let's say let's call it 1500 watts hour panels and that's not enough to feed a 7 kilowatts hour batteries so i have to give up because anyway i can't have more panels i got no place to put them and for now i'm okay with uh, this install so far that's a really nice surprise my inverter gave until today which is uh, 28th of august gave me this month more than 100 kilowatts hours so this is great i never had this production before but you know why this is very simple of course I don't have those batteries anymore but what I have done I use and I'm using this three AGM batteries in series with the same old install so I'm coming from the panel so if 91.2 okay it should be around 100 volts this goes down through these wires down to the batteries and of course back <laughs> the inverter now it's connected somehow in parallel with the MPPT and with the batteries. As you can see, now the batteries are at 43.4, so they are charged. A part of the current goes directly to the inverter and a part of this current goes to the battery. Can you see this? The temperature is at 36.7 and this is very important too. Okay, so somehow I kept the old install, you know, I already have it for charging the lithium batteries now i realize having these batteries you know the gel batteries in between the things it's smoothing the energy delivery or it's smoothing the production i may say let's start with the panels okay those are the panels here we have the sunshine of course god bless for that <laughs> the mppt and then we have the on-grid inverter here and in between the things we have the batteries it's a very simple schematic okay let's go with the plus to MPPT that's the plus from the panels of course fuses all around it's a need that's minus going to MPPT okay minus and plus here I have around 100 volts DC from the MPPT we got the plus going to the battery plus all right then we have the minus going to the battery and here i have a 36 volts agm i think it's around 50 amps hour in this configuration okay and from the battery very simply we're going to the inverter of course like i said fuses all around and here minus goes to the inverter and of course the inverter is delivering to the grid 140 volts ac in my situation this inverter now it's limited to 900 watts i don't want to push it too much all right sometimes it's happening that my needs are 450 watts hour okay so the mppt it's delivering much more than this What's gonna happen in this situation? It's very simple to understand. A part, let's say half of the power goes through the inverter this way and then to the batteries, it's charging the batteries, all right? It's charging the batteries and from here goes to the inverter. So we have both the batteries and the inverter supplied by the panels. All right, this is the first situation. Then the next situation, let's say we have a cloud on the way. Now, because there is no more sunshine here, the charging will stop. So this one, it's getting open, but we still have enough power to supply the 
inverter. It's a very simple concept, all right? So now the inverter, it's taking power from the batteries. And that's why if we consider, okay, this is the voltage in the batteries and this is time here. So we have around, let's say 43 volts full charging. So if we start with 33 volts in the moment when the cloud on the way, then the batteries will slowly going down because they are, let's say, no sun. Because they are supplying until 36 volts here, they are supplying the inverter. And then the panels are producing energy. We have exactly the same thing, but going up 43 volts, 0.5. That's how much I limited the batteries. Well, somehow here in the middle, it's the sweet point having, let's say, 43 and 36 volts. Instead of having, like I used before, the panels connected directly to the inverter, instead of having those ups and downs and nothing in between, now because of the batteries, the things will go like this. And that's why I can harvest more energy. I'm really surprised. Let me show you. That's the production for this month. You see, more than 100 watts. Today I used only 1.9, it's Sunday and it's not so much to do around. But if we take July, and July was a pretty hot month, I've been using the air conditioning a lot. Look, even with a lot of consuming here, you see, I got peaks like 4.76 anyway, I reached 19 kilowatts. And so if we take it the other way, what about June? 51. <laughs> if you take it the other way, this uh, configuration with the MPPT supplying the inverter and the batteries in the same time. So I may call the MPPT, it's the main energy delivering system to the install. I think it's a great idea. So if you can have this how, how can I call it? Uh, bucket, no, like a buffer. Okay, let's call it. If you can have a energy buffer like this, a battery doesn't really matter if it's not exactly on the right characteristics. I mean, power or something. Anyway, it's enough to level the things. Even these batteries can supply too much, you know, maybe 500 watts or something, but that's enough to have a smooth energy production. So let's have a scenario like, uh, <clears throat> like now. You know, this one is capable of giving like 900 watts instantly. Now it's delivering half of the maximum power. All right. The rest of the things, the rest of the power is going into the batteries. And let's say now the sun is going for, I don't know, for one minute into the clouds. The batteries will provide the inverter with the same energy needs for a proper output. So the things instead of going like this like it was before now because of the batteries they are going almost flat and that makes a huge difference like i said before it's not the end of the month yet we still have three more days and i have more than 100 kilowatts i never had this kind of production this is great this is great okay well, let's talk about the mppt because somebody, one of my watchers, you know, asked or anyway said uh, that uh, it's a great device. Yes, it is. But this guy, he used to work very easy, you know, light job charging my 12 volt batteries before in the initial install. So it was rarely passing, you know, okay, seven, eight amps or something. So it wasn't really necessary for extra cooling or anything else. But now, in this configuration, it can reach easily 30 amps, maybe more. So uh, what I had to do for now, this is just an improvisation. I had to add an extra heat sink. Well, it doesn't look too good as you can see. For now, I just put some thermal pads I used before. You see it, uh, I, I think you saw it in my videos before. And uh, it's doing a great job keeping the things as cold as possible and as relaxed, you know, rela thermal relaxed. But anyway, the concept with the batteries in between the panels, you know, MPPT charger and the uh, inverter, it's absolutely great. It's smoothing everything. And uh, in the same time, you can use any batteries. It doesn't matter if they are, you know, uh, powerful or some 
you know, half wasted or something. The point is to have enough energy to smooth, to level a minute of non sunshine, I may say. And the final element here, and this is very important, this little guy here, it's moving the air in this area. Without that, all the temperature are going high or higher with at least a few degrees. Now I have 43 degrees to the inverter, which is great. And I had 37 on the MPPT. But like I said before, it's not so much power consumption today, so I'm absolutely fine. That's it for today. I hope it's useful. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, please write them down. I'll be happy to answer. If you have any ideas, of course, if you want to share some of your experience, please write them down because it's useful for the community, for everybody. <laughs> Hopefully you are subscribing to my channel and push like, push subscribe and uh, don't forget to write. <laughs> and of course, have some fun. Bye bye.